What's up guys, it's Rut Dog. Terminal is back. Today's the first day that uh, Terminal's available. It's for all the paid uh, premium elite subscribers and then tomorrow it'll be available for everybody. By the time you guys are watching this, it'll probably be available to uh, everyone because I don't think I'm going to get the video up tonight. I only got to play a couple matches. This happened to be my first one. And then I got a kill confirm match after that, but... Uh, I should get a lot more content on the new map soon, but I just wanted to get the video up today and this was uh, my first match. As far as the gameplay goes, uh, for it being my first game, I thought I did pretty good. I ended up with the uh, highest KD, most points captured, and most kills. The uh, the KD's not great, I think it's around 3, but I was playing the objective super hard. Right here to start the video, we get C and B. So I thought, man, we're going to get them right off the bat, trapped in A, like good old times. But uh, this was 6v6, so without ground war, danger close tubes going everywhere, it's a lot harder to hold the spawn trap than I remember. But uh, everything's back the way you remember it. This good old nasty head glitch is back, uh, firing into ADOM. You're going to get dudes sniping up on the fuel tank and just people working their normal spots. I had a lot of fun. I thought I'd run Specialist off the bat and go for a Moab. I thought it'd be cool to get a Moab, but I only got got one game, so I kind of give up on the Specialist thing and start playing the objective real hard. I pull out my Stinger to shoot down some enemy air support, and I end up running with a MK-46 the rest of the game. That gun's pretty badass. I just uh, recently started using it, and it's pretty buff. It's like three shot kills up close and four at any distance. I really like it, despite running like a big old fat guy and being super slow. Good gun. I love having a light machine gun on terminal. I used to do it with the RPD a lot, just wall banging through the plane and and uh, the little on ramp thing, and just spraying bullets everywhere and just getting a bunch of freaking wall bangs. So maybe give it a shot. Try a light machine gun on this map. It's pretty good. I'm really looking forward to getting full parties going so we can really dominate some kids. This one I had two other guys from my clan in with me and then three randoms, so it's hard to coordinate. You know, six guys if you're not on the same page as far as going, uh, playing the objective goes. But despite some deaths, we still pull out the win, and, and, uh, there you go. But anyway, it's fun to play the old map with, uh, all the new guns and perks and specialists. I had a good time. As for the map itself, they didn't really change anything. You can still capture A from the other side of the ticket counter. Um, like I said before, there's the same head glitching spots, and... Pretty much every they give it like some cosmetic upgrades. You notice the posters. Um, everything's been changed. It's now all Russian. I mean, if it was supposed to reflect the mol the single player in Modern Warfare 2, instead of being Burger Town, it should have been some some Russian thing. But everything now is all Russian. There's like vodka ads or I don't know, just crazy writing. And anyway, the cosmetic upgrades make it feel fresh. Uh, but structurally, I'm sure they didn't change anything with the map. Just uh, just little cosmetic upgrades to give it a different feel. Other than that, I don't have much to say about the map. Like I said, right now it's only available in the Elite DLC, which kind of sucks. Because as far as the other maps, I'm not a big fan of, of much of the DLC. The two other maps that came out today, one of them is on... It's like... It's on an oil rig out in the middle of the ocean, and it, it sucks. The matches I got on it are like super ladders and doorways everywhere, people camping, and uh, I did not have fun on that. I think that one's offshore. Uh, the other one's decommissioned. It's like an abandoned shipyard where old wrecked ships go to die, I guess. And there's some little ghetto, sketchy village on it. That one was alright. I had fun. It's a little smaller map. It's like a medium-sized map. Um, good flanking points. You can run through the middle. There's a real nasty butcher shop in it. I think I'm going to make a video and just maybe give a map tour of that map if I can get it out tomorrow. And uh, show you how nasty the butcher is. They're just like cut open pig and there's guts and flies everywhere. Anyway, I thought it was nasty enough. I'll, uh, I'll make a video to point it out. I'm not a big fan of guts and blood, so them working... Well, I guess there's a ton of blood in Call of Duty getting headshots and blowing people's faces off, but... Cut open pigs and guts blood is a little different to me than replicated warfare blood. I don't know. I'm weird, I guess. I'm just saying I would not eat at that carnisseria if that's what it is. For anybody that doesn't know, a carnisseria or carnisseria is like a Mexican meat market. I'm in California, so 
there are a lot of these around and you can get bomb tacos anyway whatever this one is it looks sketchy at best definitely some health code violations in there but once again I'm way off topic well that's it for me guys enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch you on the next one see ya Securing Charlie. Securing C. Charlie secure. on the way. Losing Charlie! UAV 
online. Enemy advanced UAV spotted. 